Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. So I don't know if I'm saying this right. Showing Stat Center. I'm over here in Lamar. That road over there would take you down to Goose Island State Park. This is the little triangle where uh, the last time we were over here, there had to be, what, 30 deer? The gentleman had put out corn for them, and they were eating, and he was giving them a nice, a nice uh, drink of water. This is Front Street, and it kind of runs along Goose Island State Park. We've done one video from back in here before, I think, maybe two. Uh, one, one could have been a long time ago. Some nice houses back in here. I learned something recently, and I mentioned it in the morning video. A lot of construction happening down here. A Murphy's that are affiliated with Walmart or maybe not affiliated anymore. The gas stations that are at most Walmarts in the United States, they no longer accept Walmart gift cards. I went to use one a few days ago and uh, it wouldn't read it. And I even went to a different pump and it wouldn't read it. And then when I went into Walmart, the lady, uh, they kind of everyone knows me there. Uh, one of the managers came over and said, hey, you know, Murphy's doesn't accept Walmart gift cards anymore. I said, no, I didn't. And that kind of changes my whole life, you know. <laughs> I would always buy a Walmart gift card, and then I could use it for groceries or gas. So uh, I need a new battle plan. But fortunately, I had a HEB gift card, and I got gas today. There's a nice big old house with some land. There's some uh, really nice ones up here. So I can't really pronounce it, and we'll, we'll show it when we're going out. It'll be on the correct side of the road for us to film. But that uh, showing strut, it's a, um, there's a convent there, and a pretty good amount of nuns. And there's a little chapel there. And if you're over here, stop and go to the chapel. I've, I've been in there several times, and there's always been uh, at least one nun in there praying. And I just think it would be bad etiquette to take a photo or uh, film. And I'm kind of hoping one day when I'm coming by, uh, you know, I often see the nuns here coming and going and I would like to ask one just to be sure I'm like is that a no-no I, I don't remember seeing a sign saying no photography but I know if I went in there to pray I wouldn't want people taking videos and things like that but it is absolutely gorgeous when I do go in I just sit down and kind of take everything in and pray and do my thing that one's received some repairs it's a nice house it's got good bones there's one coming up here i absolutely love but uh, murphy's not accepting the walmart gift cards i mean i've been doing that for just years and years when uh whenever i get a gift card or you know like a visa card or a mastercard gift card i would go into walmart and buy a a gift card and then I could use it and it like what I like the receipt tells you the balance of your card I really like this house you know when I win the lottery I'm gonna just throw money at these people until they sell it look at that third floor but like you kind of have a canal on two sides I really like their little carport area here I think that's really sharp It looks like their little garden got pretty much decimated by that cold snap we had, even the palm trees, and that's a that's a shame. But when I win the lottery, I won't care about that. I'll have the money to just buy more. <laughs> there are 
there's a circle coming up here and you see that parking lot right over there that's part of goose island matter of fact there's the rec hall at goose island right there and the other street it also opens up to goose island state park And uh, you can see the Goose Island. There's the bridge right there that goes over to the beachfront. You can hear an airboat right there. And you can see the cabanas. I believe they call them cabanas. Airboats are so loud. I don't think I've ever ridden in one. I would need some ear protection. Yeah, there's the cabanas that are right on. I think that's Aransas Bay right there. I, I always consider this side of the causeway Aransas Bay. And then anything on the other side of the causeway, speak of the devil, there's the causeway right there. Pretty neat to see it from this perspective. Look at the concrete work on this house they did. Bet you that thing could withstand some hurricanes. Oh, look at that. They, they got their own little area for the boats and boat lifts installed. That's pretty neat. I'm going to have to back up and make this cul-de-sac. I'm glad I don't get one of those anchors on my 300-pound uh, magnet. That's why I haven't gotten a bigger one. Because what if I latch on to something heavier, I'll, I'll lose my magnet. <laughs> That's my thinking anyway. Be happy with what you got. And I pull it out once a week. Maybe I'll do a little magnet fishing. I'm going to take a shower today. Mark your calendar. I'm going to take a shower. I might as well get filthy dirty by magnet fishing first. huh? This is pretty. Well, you ready for the dad joke button, kids? Did you know that 97% of the world is stupid? Luckily, I'm the other 5%. All right, we heard that one. <laughs> Let's give it one more shot. What days are the strongest? Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Oh. <laughs> All right, that wasn't bad. I'm going to accept that. Man, those airboats are loud. As I get older, I find I can't hear things, and I don't like loud things, which is ironic, don't you think? <laughs> I did see my buddy Fernando driving by earlier today. Hello, Fernando. <coughs> now look at this. They have a little outdoor elevator, little wheelchair lift, if you will. That's pretty cool. When I was working construction uh, for a contractor, we installed several. And by meaning we installed, we hired a subcontractor to do it and then took full responsibility and marked the price up 30%. Nice little canal. Yeah, I don't know what the if this neighborhood has a name. But it is nice. This house seems really big too. This house seems really big. There's the garage kind of in the middle, but oh, that's neat. They got a little separate add-on. Now oh, they got a garage there too. That that one must be for storage. We want to go down this side street? Sure. Why not? That's for sale, guys. You call Megan at 979-709-3761. It can all be yours. Water's a pretty color today.
couple postcard moments if you like. If you like houses. And this is just a little turnaround down here, I hope. Nope. Is it? Is there a cul-de-sac? Yeah, we got a little cul-de-sac. And there's a golf cart coming behind me. And no one's even playing golf today, which is weird. I have two pairs of golf pants, but I have a hole in one. Thanks, bud. I have no turning radius in this truck. Thank you. They got out of my way, which was nice of them. I guess they're just out for a ride, too. Three or four people on a golf court. There's more docks over there. Another nice house. I don't know, guys. We might get some rain today, huh? The weatherman said no rain, but Luciano predicted rain, so you got to go with a reliable source. Luciano. I always figure a, a homeless guy will know if it's going to rain or not. He's the one out in the elements. A Quonset hut type house. Or is that probably a storage building, huh? Ooh, what is this little development? Oh, that's someone's private private home. Here's the big money over on this side. And they would be right on the bay. Or at least a little protected area that leads out to the bay. Pretty neat over here. I like it. I wonder what the properties go for over here. But look at that. An old structure. That is neat looking. Wow, that was really neat looking. That's where a house used to be. Yeah, we we did a video and it's entitled, however you pronounce it, showing showing straight. And uh I, I lived here for a long time and never heard of it. And then about three, four years ago, I had Googled, you know, top things to do in Rockport. And this was listed as number three. They have a really interesting bell on top there. I think I, think I can pull through here without causing any disturbance. Private property, no bus entrance. Hmm. So this is the temple over here. I don't know what that building is. And I don't know what this building is. But I do know the statue over there. There's only so many in the world. And I do have a full video from there. And then they have several other statues. The statue that's right there, right about dead center, that's like a famous statue that was limited and it has something to do with Germany and I'm completely forgetting the entire story. But this tiny chapel right here is amazing inside. I wouldn't mind when I see a nun asking, like I said, what is appropriate and what isn't. And I was here before at sunset, and it was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I, I was talking one day here to the Mother Superior, and she had a cat, and it was like, a, like twice the size of a normal cat. It was like a cat from Harry Potter. <laughs> Happy New Year. They got the door decorated. Yeah, I'm not sure what all these buildings are. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Well, guys, I appreciate you. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Thanks for riding along. Thanks for watching.